Fixold Cameras produces step-by-step, close-up videos of simple, common repairs and basic maintenance on classic and vintage cameras. Your ability, the quality of your tools, and the condition of your camera will affect the success of your repair endeavor. A successful completion of the demonstrated repairs ultimately depends on your camera repair skills. For demonstration purposes, the meter battery diode will be installed in a Canon TX. However, the procedure is the same for an FTB, TL, or FT. Placing the ECG109 diode in line between the battery and the battery circuit drops the voltage from 1.5 to the 1.35 level that these cameras were designed to operate on. Using a pointed spanner wrench, remove the advanced lever retainer. Some models will have a secondary advanced lever retainer underneath the decorator plate. If such a retainer is found, use an appropriate size slotted screwdriver to remove the two set screws. They can be very snug, so it is important to use the proper size screwdriver to avoid damage to the screw head. Again, use the pointed spanner wrench to remove the secondary advanced lever retainer. Note that it unthreads in a clockwise direction. You may now remove the remaining advanced lever parts. Note the position of the advanced lever seat. This part can also vary slightly from camera to camera. Before removing the shutter speed dial, set the shutter speed to its fastest setting and the ASA to its lowest setting. Take care when removing the pin face as it is easily marred. Carefully remove the shutter speed dial, noting the linkage post on the dial and the marked notch on the meter linkage gear. Next, remove the battery cap and the rewind knob. To remove the rewind knob, Hold the rewind shaft while spinning the rewind knob counterclockwise. If you have not already done so, remove the five top cover screws. There are two screws on either side of the viewfinder window. Be sure to use a JIS crosspoint screwdriver as a Phillips screwdriver could mar the screw heads. Note that the top cover screw next to the lens mount is slightly different than the rest of the top cover screws and should be replaced in the same position. Once all the screws are removed, the top cover will lift free. Be careful with the hot shoe wire. The meter modification diode will be installed directly to the battery contact. Trim the wire leads of the diode and position is shown. The battery wire is soldered to one end of the diode, the battery contact to the other. If the diode is installed backwards, no harm done. Simply remove the diode, flip the position, resolder, and the meter will then work. Insulate the diode with heat shrink that you would have slipped into position on the wire before attaching to the end of the diode. Once in position, use the tip of the soldering iron to shrink. Keep the soldering iron moving about the heat shrink so as not to risk breaking the solder connection within. With the modification completed, the top cover can be replaced. Make sure the shutter button plunger has not fallen free of the shutter button. If it has, use a small amount of grease on the shutter button plunger shaft and reinsert. Now the top cover can be seated without fear of the shutter button plunger falling free. With the top cover in place, the shutter speed dial can now be installed. Align the shutter speed dial coupling post with the marked notch on the meter coupling gear. Take care when reinstalling the shutter speed dial retainer so that you do not cross the threads. Snug up with a spanner wrench, but do not over tighten as it is brass and can be easily twisted off. Install the advanced lever seat positioning as earlier noted. Replace the advanced lever and the advanced lever spring washer. Thread on the secondary advanced lever retainer in a counterclockwise direction. Then firmly tighten the two set screws, taking care not to mar the slots of the screw heads. Lay the decorator plate in place. Install the advanced lever cover screw. Do not over tighten the cover screw as it too is made of brass and can be twisted off. While holding the rewind shaft, firmly tighten the rewind knob 
Then install the five top cover screws. Thank you for watching.